Hey guys, Kyle Morris here coming from the Golf Room in Dublin, Ohio, as well as the Golf Club of Dublin. And what do we want to do today is talk to you guys a little bit about why your driver swing might feel a little bit different than your iron swing and create different ball flights. So a lot of times in the lessons, I'll be giving a, a lesson to a player and let's say for instance, we're trying to get them to hit a draw and they hit a nice little draw with their seven iron and then they'll go away and they'll practice and then they'll come back and I'll say, hey, how you doing? And they'll say, you know, it's going great. I'm hitting it great with my mid irons and I can draw, hit a little three, four, five yard draw with my mid irons, but my driver is really cutting and really hitting some slices. So why is that? Well, what I want to do to articulate that is talk a little bit about TrackMan and about the swing direction and how that can influence what's going on with different swings. So swing direction on TrackMan is essentially the measurement from hip to hip down through the hitting area. So it's kind of like, um, if you can kind of think of like a plane board, it's like a plane board this way, right? So if the swing direction, for example, was zero, that would be a player swinging right down the zero line, hip to hip. And if it was like positive four, it would be out to the right. And if it was negative four, it'd be left because TrackMan reads numbers left to right. So if a player, I've got a noodle and a, an alignment stick here to kind of articulate this and show this. So if I have a player and he's got a, he's hitting down on a seven iron, right? Cause so, so he's hitting down like minus four degrees. As you can see, when this player is hitting down the plane, so this cushion represents our swing direction, as they swing down the plane and swing down into impact and they're coming down on the ball, you can see this noodle is pointing really far, much further out to the right. So the more down you hit it, the more it shifts the club path out to the right. And vice versa, the more up you hit it, the more on the upswing you're hitting it, the more the club path is over to the left. So if a player was feeling like, hey, I'm making really great swings with a seven iron, and let's say that club path is four degrees to the right, well, if they kind of have that same type of feeling and they're hitting it with a driver and they're hitting it three degrees up, that might shift the club path to like minus one, which, you know, with a club path of minus one or minus two, and then the face half of that, that's going to create a little bit of a cut. So essentially, in some regards, and, you know, I want to preface this, that this would be more for the elite player and kind of the, you know, the better caliber player that has a lot of feeling and a lot of um, control over their golf swing. With 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 an iron, you know, we might be ha be feeling one one kind of swing coming down, right? Coming from the inside at say four and a half, which would create a nice stock shot from the inside. But then when they have a driver, they might have to feel like their swing direction is a little bit more out to the right. Because if I do that and I'm swinging it out and swinging on the upswing, you can see that this noodle, even though I switched the swing direction to be more to the right, this noodle is kind of pointing in the same direction as if when the seven iron was coming down you know, with a descending blower or an attack angle of like minus four. So that's kind of why the driver swing might feel a little bit different than the iron swing and why the driver might be a little bit harder to turn and to draw than some of the other clubs, which is why pros um, feel like they can curve their three woods a lot easier than that they can curve their driver because with three woods, they might actually be having a little bit more of a negative, negative attack angle, which is going to shift that club path right. So um, if you're kind of finding this and you're finding that you're hitting nice draws with your irons, but your woods just seem to be cutting too much, maybe just feel like if you're, let's say, out of a scale of one to 10, if you feel like coming from the inside with an iron, you feel like you're a five out of 10, but with a driver, you might need to feel like you're coming at it like a seven or an eight out of 10 out to the right a little bit. So hopefully this helps us answer some questions on why your iron swing might feel, might create a little bit different ball flight than your drivers. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at kmorris at thegolfroom.com or visit our website, thegolfroom.com. Thank you.